faint acrid smell clings to the corpse like the memory of a storm. comes free with a sickening crunch. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. Warm, wet tentacles wrap themselves around your head, and for the first time in your life, you're perfectly happy. Let it be so. Vlaketh Gorg Shkatzai! say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. You feel a little cold, but that's all. There's no more pain, no more fear, no more struggle. It's all over. Skorga, what have you done? There it is. True death at last. You are Shah's child after all. And I am... I am... Take up my spear again and go forth. Let the cleansing begin. I will not be gay. Vlaketh Gorg Shkatzai.
Your stomach drops. Your chest constricts. Your thoughts begin to splinter. She will not be utterly destroyed. What is useful shall remain. None of you will break me! Wrong! How do you feel? Ecstatic. Devoted. Inspired. Excellent. A job well done, sister. For the Absolute. For the Absolute. Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye, then reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then... Tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run! I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just... a little further! Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Tret! He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really? that you could be guilty of such bitter business.